Hi, YouTube. I, I found three things on the internet that I would like to talk about. I found all of these on AOL News or what is it, Huffington Post or whatever. But um, I'll put the links to all these stories down below. Okay, a Walmart worker, Penny Winters, charged with a felony for allegedly swiping, wait for it, Oreos. You know, the cookie. What, what this lady did was she decided that she was going to go ahead and steal um, a whole bunch of junk food and stuff like that while she was working at Walmart as a maintenance worker. Apparently she was making eleven forty an hour. Makes me wonder where her money went. Obviously it wasn't to the paying of these Oreos and this junk food. Her son is shocked about it. Uh, she's never been in trouble a day in her life. So if you have any Oreos because she made bail and she comes over to your house, you better hide those bitches. <laughs> Turn around, where's my Oreos? They be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I can see her leaving somebody's house. Hey, hey you. Now, we know your past. Turn out your pockets. Those are my Oreos. I paid for those. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Um, another story that I found on here, it's, an, it's a video. It's about this lady in Florida. And... She's not living in her house, and it's not really explained in the video why she's not living in her house. But in the video, she says that it's unsafe, and she says something about mold. So I'm assuming that there's a mold issue in this house, and that's why her and her family aren't living there. Well, she gets a call from, I guess, another, another person, another neighbor in that neighborhood, saying, you know, there's people living in your house. And apparently she was like, no, there's nobody living there. We're not living there, so who could be in there? And uh, she went over there, and sure enough, there was there was a there was a, a girl that uh, her mom lived like a couple houses down, and her fiance and their kid live in there. And they had no uh, apparently they had no agreement or anything like that for this the this family to be living there. And so she did what most people would probably do in that situation like how fucked up is that to like to leave your home because of let's just assume that it that it is a mold issue or whatever you leave your home and you come back some other family living in your fucking house it's like what and and you know it's it's not even it's not even you know i could understand maybe if they were they were homeless or you know something like that but no this is the gr the girl that was found squatting let's call it what it is okay in this house her mom lived like a couple doors down what and apparently the girl is saying that they talked on they had an email uh conversation together and she said that they the girl could stay there or anything and of course the lady that you know owns the house is like we never talked on facebook or or emailed or anything but um yeah that's 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 ridiculous you know i mean don't be freaking being in people's houses when you shouldn't be in people's houses i mean that would be as bad as me and hubby and our daughter coming home and finding a whole other family living here it's like what the fuck get out this ain't your house just saying okay so the next thing that I found on the news was um, this girl, like her name is uh, Tori Locklear, burned her own hair off in a YouTube beauty video. And I, I kind of want to laugh because, you know, it was a beauty video, but at the same time I kind of feel really bad for her because it's like, it's, it's a strand of her hair, you know. Um, but I was like, when I was watching the video, and once again, I wish I would have caught my reaction to it. Um, she, she wraps it around the iron and she has it on there for a couple minutes. And I noticed that her hair is turning like a dark color. And I'm like, can't you smell that? I mean, can't you, what the hell? Right. And the only thing that I can think of is that she had the curling iron up too high or 
She needs to tell us all what the hell she fucking put in her hair before she did that so we all don't buy it. Because I'm not going to buy some product and then try to curl my hair and have that shit happen. Those are the three stories that I found on the internet that I thought that I would go ahead and share with you if you weren't already aware of them. And that's all I got for you right now. So comment, like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at Flynnette30. And I will see you the next video, whenever that is. I think I'm going to do away with that schedule just because it's kind of restricting. So you're just gonna have to deal with me posting a lot. Anyhow, uh, if I don't see you again, try to have a good day tomorrow. Bye. I could see her in prison right now. <laughs> what are you in for, Grandma? Stealing Oreos.